tell you something, brother. Instead of doing a TNA pay-per-view that focuses around Hulk Hogan, dude, we're going to do a pay-per-view that focuses around the X Division, brother. The X Division that put TNA on the map, dude. The X Division that I so happily buried, brother. That's right. Welcome back. This is Chase Oliver 68. Today, I'm going to be going over Destination X, giving my preview and predictions on the show. I'm going to be pretty excited for this show. I'll give you my what I will think about the show at the end. But let's get started on this, brother. First, we have the Ultimate X match. There's a bunch of people on this. I forgot who it was. I didn't look it up. But I know Alex Shelley's in the match. Robbie E's in the match. It should be a good match. Um, it's a bunch of TNA talent going at it in the Ultimate X match. What, what's better than that? But so far, it seems like this would most likely be the opener for TNA Destination X, you know, just to get the kid, the fans all wild up, chanting TNA, TNA, or this is awesome, or holy shit, because there's going to be a lot of moments, and it's going to be a classic, you know, I, it's not going to be a classic, but it's going to be a good touch to the, to the Ultimate X match, something that I, I've i missed as of late. We haven't seen much Ultimate X matches, so... It's going to be a fun match. Next match that I'll be going over will be Frankie Kazarian, or Kazarian as he's called, from Fortune 4. And Samoa Joe, you know, Samoa Joe needs this win. There's no doubt about it. Kazarian, he can just do the job. This match was just thrown on there just because Joe wasn't added to AJ and Daniels. And I think Joe and Kazarian can do a good amount in the rain. You know, we haven't seen that much Joe Kazarian matches, so... It is something I'm looking forward to. Joe and Kazarian, you know, this whole feud building up to it, it was just kind of just Kazarian getting the face of Samoa Joe saying, Come on, Joe, you're better than this. You're better than this, Joe. And Joe going like, Oh, Samoa Joe, I'm angry all the time. <laughs> so, pretty much, that's about it for this matchup. I don't expect too much for it, but it should be good. We get Rob Van Dam. Versus Jerry Lynn, I'm an old man. Well, as you saw in TNA, this press, or, I'm sorry, Impact Wrestling, brother. It's not called TNA, because that means something else, dude. You're right, Hogan, I'm sorry. You're damn right, you're sorry, brother. So, we uh, as we saw this past episode of Impact, if you didn't watch the four-way corners match, RD and Jerry Lynn had like a couple of minutes in the ring together, and they kind of like showcased that they know each other very well. You know, I'm not expecting a five-star class from this match. I'm expecting a good match from this. You know, this ain't going to be an RBD, a younger RBD and a younger Jerry Lynn going at it. This is just going to be more of a throwback to the X Division. Because like RBD said, we started X Division before there even was an X Division, dude. But 20, hold up and show. Like, you know, just basically saying that. And Jerry Lynn, you know, people's channels changing. You still got it. Also, fun fact for you, the final two in the first ever X Division title match were the phenomenal AJ Styles, and yes, that's how you pronounce AJ Styles' name on my channel, AJ Styles, because he deserves it, but, and Jerry Lynn, the match stipulation was a four-way elimination featuring Low Key and Psychosis, and AJ Styles had to get two pins over Jerry Lynn as they were the final two, AJ Styles got pinned by Low Key earlier that night, and yeah, AJ Styles and Jerry Lynn tore the house down as the final two, so it was a Really fun match to watch. I enjoy watching it. It's on the best, uh, spe phenomenal Best of Age of Styles DVD. Check that out if you guys haven't. But yes, great match. But I just want to throw that fun fact in, in here. Since this is the X Division pay-per-view, might as well throw an X Division fun fact in there. So, you know, Jerry Lynn and, and RBD, they're just going to have a match. It's going to be good. They're going to have this last year and tear the house down. Uh, why not have it this year and do the same exact thing? Or not the same scene, but try to recreate that. The next match we have here is the Fatal 4-Way match. I don't know if this is an Ultimate X match. It'd be awesome if it is. But a Fatal 4-Way match. Winner gets a TNA contract. We have Loki, Senshi, Caval, whatever your preference of names are for him. You got Austin Aries. You got Jack Evans. And you got Ion. You know, I'm really digging Jack Evans. Jack Evans is a guy that I feel like TNA should use. Because he's a fresh face. No, Not really many people have seen him on TV. He's someone that the indie fans like. He's someone that maybe casual fans could get into just because of his crazy offensive style. I feel like he would be a good fit for the X Division nowadays and be someone that you could use as a new talent and TNA can claim as his own or some, their own that they're building up. 
an ion would be cool too you know someone that again like a jack evans someone that's not very well known i feel aries and low key i think they're just in this match just for experience sakes just for exhibition nostalgia and you know there was a lot of exhibition nostalgia in these four-way matches you know maverick matt bentley the bentley bounce do 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 you guys don't know the bentley bounce look it up and Tracy was doing the Bentley bounce. God, I miss old exhibition. I really do. You know, seeing Matt Bentley come back was cool. Seeing Jimmy Ray, seeing Kid Cash, you know, all those guys coming back and doing their thing, you know, that was cool. I really enjoyed that. Jimmy Wayne Yane for one appearance, even though he was a WWE guy. But that was cool to see Jimmy Wayne Yane there. But, you know, this exhibition match should be good. I believe this would be the match of the night, in my opinion, if it wasn't for the main event. Just because of the talent you have in this match and the diversity of all guys' talents, I think it would just be very good, and I'm really excited for this matchup. The next match we have is, um, I'm guessing maybe the second to last match, I don't know. I'm just saying random matches. We're going to have, you know, the challenger, Brian Kendrick, and the necessity of life, and, you know, winning the X Division title would make it the pride and the joy versus... Abyss, the X Division Champion. Fun fact, if you guys did not know, Abyss is a Grand Slam Champion TNA. One time NWA Champion. One time Television Champion. I believe one time Tag Team Champion. Two time. And one time X Division Champion. So, Abyss is the second Grand Slam Champion in TNA. Um, that's another fun fact for you. But Abyss, you know, this makes sense why they put Brian Kendrick. Because Brian Kendrick was one of the few men that were a little like, oh, you know what, we're going to make the exhibition to what it was again, the exhibition, and one of those guys who was mad that Jay Lethal got released, and, you know, just basically one of those guys who was the main force of wanting the exhibition back, it makes sense, but really, when you look at it, you look at Brian Kendrick, and you look at Abyss, now, I look at Frank Gazarian, and I look at Abyss, I can actually believe Frank Gazarian can beat Abyss, I look at Brian Kendrick, and I look at Abyss, I really can't believe Brian Kendrick can beat Abyss, I really can't, I'm sorry, Brian Kendrick, you know, Maybe he'll have a decent exhibition title run. My prediction is Brian Kendrick. But it's just really, I don't know who to, you know, I really don't know if Brian Kendrick can, you know, actually pull out the win. We'll have to wait and see, but Kendrick's my prediction. And I forgot that I didn't do the predictions. I have, oh, I basically said them. But RBD is going to win the Jerry Lynn match. That's obvious. And I already said I wanted Jack Evans to win. But so now we move on to the main event. Of the evening, the phenomenal AJ Styles. That's how it's going to be pronounced every time I say his name with the phenomenal in front of it. Versus the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. I'm refusing to call him just Daniels. I just don't like that. But Christopher Daniels and AJ Styles, I believe they're going to tear down the house. They should tear down the house. Every time these two get together in the ring, they just go, okay, let's do it. You know, me, you do their movies. Go watch past matches. Go watch their Iron Man matches. Go watch... Some old school AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels matches. Even if it's like a Fatal 4 with fucking Ronda Troop killings in it. Go watch it. And you'll be, you'll like what you see. You know, AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels, they just know what to do in the ring together. They're, so, they're people that, you know, are very, very, are like, you know, they're close friends in real life. So they just want to have this handshake match and, you know, let's get it done with. And really, AJ Styles needs to win here. He's not really doing shit in the Bound for Glory series. I believe he only has 14 points. That's not shit compared to fucking Devon. Devon has 21 points. How the, what the? But anyways, Devon has 21 points. But AJ Styles, you know, I feel like, you know, get get the win on him. Move him up forward to the, you know, you know, back to the Bound for Glory series. Just have it where AJ Styles wins this match. I wouldn't mind if Daniels won, but I feel AJ needs to win more. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, you look at this Destination X card, and you're saying, damn, this looks like a pretty good card. We got the Return of the Ultimate X maybe once or twice. I can't, I don't know. Well, I don't know if the if it's twice because of the if the Fatal Four Way match is actually a Fatal Four Way match in an exhibition style. You got six matches on the card that are pretty solid. I mean, sure, six matches for a three hour show doesn't seem like a lot, but you know maybe TNA can push the extra hour. Who knows? But it just seems like you know you look at this card and you look at it and you say, is it worth or you know this is one of those cards I, I was looking at and I was like, you know this pay per view does look good. And should I order it? Should I not? You know, I was debating back and forth. Should I order? Should I not? And, you know, at the end of the day, I said, you know what? I'm not going to really order it 
no offense to TNA, you guys have been stepping up your game as of late. I've been liking that. But really, Destination X just, it really is like a pay-per-view that doesn't intrigue me because it's more of a throwaway pay-per-view and more for nostalgia's sakes. It just feels like TNA is saying, we're bringing back the six-sided ring, we're bringing back Ultimate X, we're bringing these guys in the match. Just for the sake of nostalgia and hoping people, like, you know, jump on it, you know, People were like, oh, I'm more in Destination X. Many pro probably did not know AJ Styles and Jerry Lynn were the last two in the X Division Championship match. So it's just like, you know, people like, they don't really go too deep-rooted in the X Division. You know, it just feels like they're just doing this just for fans to go like, oh my god, this is the X Division. You know, get hyped up around the X Division, which I like. I really do like that because the X Division is one of the premier that premier concepts that TNA has brought in that the fans like. The X-Division actually has main event in a pay-per-view. Unbreakable 2005, Joe, AJ, and Daniels, which was considered a match of the year candidate by many websites. One website gave it match of the year. I don't know which website it was. It was a long time ago when I looked at that, but, you know, that match was always a match that people liked. They loved it because it was something special, and it featured a title known as the X-Division title. You know, the X-Division title has been something that's been very important. I personally love the exhibition. I've been watching TNA since 2002. I've been a TNA fan since their first show. You know, I I watched the exhibition grow. I watched it fall down. And then I watched it grow back again. And right now it's in a slump. And I hopefully it gets out of the slump. I really want to see more exhibition action. You know, it, I just feel TNA is now more focused on heavyweights than they are in the exhibition. So, it's sad, but... That's just kind of my exhibition tamway and why I'm not buying the pay-per-view. It's just more like, I just feel like it's more of a nostalgia pay-per-view, not a pay-per-view that I would just be like, maybe if TNA was out of business and they were doing this, I would be like, you know what, this is worth an order. I haven't seen this in a long time. But the fact of the matter is, it's just rebuilding back to build back the exhibition. It just feels like, you know, I can just stream this. And plus, I'm tight on money myself, so I don't want to waste the money. That's just my feeling on it. Everyone has their own opinions about it, but... If you guys want to order it, I say order it. I would have ordered it if Money in the Bank was the next Sunday. I straight up would have. Because if Money in the Bank was the next Sunday and say like fucking in July 27th, I just pointed my cal calendar or something, or like late July or something, like I would have been fine with that. I would have ordered Destination X. I would have ordered Money in the Bank. But, you know, not the case. So it is what it is. But if you guys are judging if you guys should order it i say you guys should order it because this show looks like a solid b plus maybe a minus show to me i feel the matches go in the right length i feel if kendrick wins the championship which he should and i feel if the right guys win this could be a good show if they have the wrong people win it is what it is but i just feel like if you guys are debating order it enjoy it watch the x division you guys want to talk exhibition with me? I'm more than welcome to. I'm open arms about the exhibition. I love the exhibition. So if you guys want to add me on Skype, which you should, Skype Chase Oliver 68, add me on Skype for more exhibition talk or just talk about wrestling in general. Follow me on Twitter. Um, like or dislike this video. Subscribe up above for more great content from Chase Oliver, dude. Now that Hogan impression was god awful, brother. No one should ever, ever try to hook, try to. God, I'm getting old, dude. But it doesn't matter, brother. Because you will still watch Hulk Hogan on Impact every Thursday night, dude. But anyways, I'm coming up close to the camera, brother. And you all know what that means, dude.